Hello, and today we're going to learn about text. And so there's four different text options that we are going to go over today. And the first one we're going to work on is this one, text animation one. To do this, go to Fusion, grab a text node connected to the media out, then put for text, put anything you want. So I'll put text animation one. For font, you could put anything. So I'm going to do that. And then you could adjust the size and tracking to your liking. So I'm going to have something like this. Right click, go to follower. Modifiers, top right. I like to put the delay on two. So I'm going to do that. For order, you're going to put inside out for this one. Now next, what you want to do is go to text, go to size, keyframe the size at zero on the first frame. Go to the middle, put it to the size you had it in tools. So for me, it's 0.1. I'm going to put the size of 0.1. And then go to the last frame and then keep frame from 1 again. Next, go to spline. And do your text. Go to spline. Full screen using these arrows. Control A, then S, and then drag it up. We're going to do a graph like this. You could adjust this one by just moving the left hand and then it's going to make a little wobble effect. So this is what we have. That's text animation one. Text animation two is a flicker effect. To do that, what you want to do is grab a text, connect it to the media out, put anything you want in the text. So I'm going to put text animation two. You could put any font you want. Size, you could adjust it again. Same with tracking. Next. Right click on the text box, go to follower, go to modifiers. For delay, I like to put either 1 or 1 1.5, so I'm going to do 1.5 for this one. Order, put it random, but one by one. Next, go to shading. And then we're going to use opacity for this one. So first frame, go opacity at zero, keyframe, and then five frames forward, put that one. Then just keep repeating it. So five frame forward, zero, and then one again. Keep repeating that till you're halfway done. Keep doing that until you're halfway in the timeline, this mini timeline. So for me, it's going to be 45. Now I'm done. Make sure you end your last keyframe off on opacity one. So it shows everything else. Now open your spline. Click on the boxes to show the graph. Click on the arrows to full screen it. Control A, so it gets everything. Control A. And then we are going to do on the bottom left this preset called step in. It's going to make your graphs look like this. And so now we can play through and we have an animation like this. Simple but really good. Text animation 3. For this one, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a text node, put anything you want, put any font you want, and then adjust the size and tracking. Next, get a rectangle, connect it to the text. Next, what you want to do is get the width, put it all the way to the right. And then height, we're going to bring it down a little bit, but enough so there's some space between. And then now we're going to put the soft edge to 0 0.025. So it's going to look like this if you were to hover over. But let's do 5. And then border width, let's do 2, 5. 0 0.025 for border width. So now it looks like that. Next, for the animations, right click on the text box, put follower, go to modifiers, put delay around two. For order, we're going to do inside out again, go to shading, go to position, right click on offset, go to modify width, and then put XY path. For this one, you can unkeyframe X, go to the middle, which is 45 for me, keyframe, and then go to the last frame, and then keyframe. Okay, go back to the first frame. And then we're going to drag Y down until we can't see the text anymore. Now we're going to open spline. Click the boxes so it shows the graph. Full screen it. Control A, S. And then drag this the first one up and then drag the second one up a little bit. So it makes the graph like this. Perfect. Now your animation should look like that. That's it for text animation 3, text animation 4, what you want to do. For text animation 4, it's uh, something similar to this one, text animation 3, but 
it's going from left from the left to the right. So to do that, get a text node, connect it to the media out, put anything you want, put any font you want. You could just the sizing again. So now that I have that, add another rectangle node connected to the text, put the width all the way up, height to put it around 0.25. Soft edge 0 0.025 or 0 0.05, border width 0 0.025. Now what we're going to do is right click on text animations, go to follower, and modifier, put the layer around 2, put the order left to right. Now, now go to shading, go to position, right click on offset, go to modify width, go to X and Y path, go to the first frame, keyframe Y, go to the middle, keyframe Y again. Go to the last frame, keyframe Y. Now, go to back to the first frame and then drag it down so you can't see the text anymore. Now for graph, open spline, put the arrow so you can have it in full screen, control A, then S, then drag it up. And now we have something like this. And uh, we're gonna add something to it. So what we're gonna do is go back to follower, go down to rotation, then go to the first frame, on Z, keyframe the first frame at 90, go to the middle and then put it at zero, and then go to the last frame and then keyframe at zero again. Next, go to spline under angle, drill A, then S, then drag the first one up, drag the second one up, and make sure your graph is like this. Now your text is gonna look like this. That's pretty much it for this uh, and some and some effects you could add to make it look better uh first you could add, add motion blur which is in tools go to settings top right go to motion blur and put the quality a little bit up shutter angle a little bit up too next an effect i like to add is an outline to it so go to arrow search up arrow dilate make connect the text to the arrow dilate get a background node connect the arrow dilate to the background and then merge it Highlight, merge, and then control T to switch. Arrow dilate, put the amount to however you like it. I like to put 0 .0, 0 0.005. That's a good one. And then for background, you can change the color to whatever you like. So let's do like a, like a blue text. Now you can add a soft glow after background node. I like to put the gain down to like one and the glow size to like 30. Yeah, that's good. And then you can add a soft drop shadow. So add a drop shadow, shadow strength, put at 0.25. So this is some text I like to use. It looks really nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And um, I will link this, this file for the text in the description below if you do want to download it for yourself. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope it helped. And yeah, that's it.